All right, guys, today we have a Gorgon review. I'm going to go over field testing first, and then we're going to have some shots on the course. Um, you'll see myself and my buddy Ian throughout this video um, throwing shots. Let's see what happens. guys we are in the field we're gonna go ahead and start by throwing flat so we're throw the gorgon here turn it over a little bit kept it on a little bit of a lower line but it still went 337 feet did turn over a little bit while throwing it flat here we are throwing it on hyzer had a good shot with this one. This one actually kind of wanted to pop up a little bit during the mid-flight and then just carry over to the left. Did get 358 feet out of it. We're going to go ahead and throw it on some Anheuser here. Got decent height out of it. Didn't turn fully over. Went 362 feet. Pretty good there. And then sidearm. Unfortunately, I have a pitiful sidearm, guys. So... This sidearm was really nose up, went up, came down, 314 feet. And then we have three max distance shots, um, what I would con call control max distance shots. The first one went the farthest, is 375 feet. Second one here, Pretty straight, had a decent little turn mid-flight, and then as it slowed down, hyzered out pretty good. A little nose up towards the end of the flight. And then this one here, just straight, hammed it a little bit, got a decent amount of turn, and then a good little bit of fade. So all of these shots that you will see were at Antioch in Illinois. Um, Ian throwing here on hole one. Throws a pretty nice shot that went out straight and then just pushed Heiser the whole way towards the basket. Hole number four, 235 feet. Nice little Heiser shot. Clips a little cabbage. Nearly rings it up. Very, very good throw by him. Um, here we have 240 foot shot by myself. Put it right by the basket. So this is hole eight. Hole eight is 245 feet. Um, you have two lines here. You'll see both of the lines. Ian's going to go right up the gut with the Gorgon. Flips it up a little bit. Clips some cabbage to slow it down and just parks the basket. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to go with the hyzer gap a little bit higher and just let the disc come crashing in towards the basket. It does wind up crashing in through the tree and dropping down there. Very, very nice. We are on hole nine. It's a 190 foot shot. Ian went with a tomahawk here and throws a beauty right by the basket. I'm throwing a backhand here, trying to blitz the basket a little bit there, right over the top. Um, definitely is not the right disc for the hole, but uh, good throw. Ian got this one pretty high um, with a nose up, stalling flight gets down there a good way towards the basket. Here, this is a hole that I really wanted to see this disc on, see how we could get it to fly. My normal shot is about three quarters of the way up the hill there. So here, we put it out with some hyzer. It just stays on the line the whole way and still gets about three quarters of the way up the hill there and definitely was a really good shot. So this is hole 11. It's 200 or 415 foot throw. This would be perfect for the other pin placement that's in the woods over there. Um, he was just a little short of the gap. Here is my throw. I just wind up pulling it a little bit and actually turns over just a little bit. You can't really see it until the end of the flight here. As it comes down, boom, there it is. But it was a pretty good shot, um, just about pin high. This is a long shot. You, of course, can't see the basket. It is way down there to the left. 
but you basically want to do what Ian does here, which is throw it kind of straight, let it be on the little tier of the hillside there. Um, that was a really good shot. He still has about 300 feet toward it to the basket, but uh, definitely gave him a good look. And then here is my shot. Pretty the same, but it does carry a little bit more left and a little bit further. So here is the results of Ian's shot. He is left with, like I said, roughly about 300 feet. Winds up popping it over just a touch, going down, and then hyzering down the hill a little bit. He did a good job of keeping it high on the hill with that hillside wanting to pull the disc down. Hole 16 is 295 feet. I throw kind of like a stall hyzer. Just went deep of the basket. It was a pretty decent looking run. Ian throws more of just a flat flexing shot. And he is running the basket and absolutely parks it. Hole 17 is 430 feet. We did switch our discs at this point, so Ian is throwing my green one. He is throwing that one out there pretty good. Just kind of stays flat and then hyzers off towards the end. And here is my me throwing Ian's. I do turn it over quite a bit. It just rides over and then lands. Ian is going to tell you what he thinks of the disc here. So uh, I bagged the Gorgon. I have bagged it since it came out maybe two, three weeks ago. I love it. It goes straight. It goes about my max distance. Um, if I throw it really hard, I can get some good turn out of it. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I usually throw it flat, uh, and it goes pretty straight for me. Um, I highly recommend it for beginners or intermediates. Maybe not beginners, but intermediates who are around 300, 350. This will definitely get you that straight but very far flight. Um, yeah, I really like it. So I think you should give it a shot for those people who throw maybe 300, 350. So, yeah. All right, guys. So my official thoughts on the Gorgon, now that I've thrown a couple rounds with it, now that I've thrown it in the field, this disc actually isn't too bad. Um, it fits in my hand pretty decent. It is a little um, different. The, the edge is a little blunter than a lot of other discs that I throw. It can handle, at least this one specifically, can handle a decent amount of torque for a slightly above average arm like myself. Um, I would definitely put it on some hyzer, get it to pop up to flat, never burned over. There were a couple throws that I did get in the field that you guys didn't see where I did wind up getting it just too low and a little bit on angle too much, and it, it never turned into a roller, just burned over and kind of into the ground. Um, but overall, I think this disc would be a great disc for beginners who are starting to get into that distance driver range. Um, I would probably say close to about 275, maybe 300 feet worth of power. Um, definitely a great disc for you guys. And for the bigger arms like myself, um, this is honestly just quite controlled. Um, if I were to give this flight numbers, uh, Speed 10, I think would be great. Uh, glide of 5, I do agree with. I would probably say this is like a negative 1-1 one, one in terms of flight for me. I don't think it turns over enough in order for it to be a negative 2-1. In the flight numbers you can see it bombs pretty good we did have some pretty far throws with it so yeah that is the gorgon review thank you guys so much for watching the henry disc golf channel like comment subscribe let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see we'll see you guys next time peace